go ahead and install the upper deck on top of the lower deck of the robot. Connect all of the wires and tighten everything together with the bolts. Before I do this, I will make sure all the cables will go into their corresponding places. So all these cables will have to be protruded through this hole here. to reach the breakout shield. So for this I will have to make sure okay we'll, we'll do it slightly different. We'll start motor by motor. So we have left motors and right motors. Uh, I presume left, well, I will have to assume that this would be the left side if the robot faces this way. For me this is left and this is right. So I'll pick the two left motors. Throw them through here and connect to the two connectors marked left. It doesn't matter since both motors rotate together. Again, make sure you match the keys with the slot. Insert into one of the left connectors and the other left connector. My assumption appears to be correct because this connector is on this side so obviously this is the left side and you can see the left when the robot is facing away from you. Now insert the other two motors connect to the other two connectors again matching the key with the slot So these are the two right motors. And finally, the line following sensor will be connected here. Again, make sure that you match the two keys here with the corresponding slots. And it is fully inserted. Now I can place the deck on top. So let's check with the instruction. This step is completed. The motors are connected. This step is also completed. The line following sensor is fully connected. And now I can complete this step installing the six bolts M3 by 10 to hold the upper deck. They are in the same number 6 back for acrylic base plates M3 by 10. I will need 6 bolts. Align one corner the hole with the corresponding pillar and using the hexagonal tool tighten loosely. Go in the diagonal, repeat the same, go diagonal, again keep going on diagonals first in order to release tension and have the plates aligned to each other properly. And the last one of the diagonals. And now the two central bolts 
and I go again because obviously provided some spares and I'm very grateful for this since I do have the tendency of occasionally losing balls and now I can go ahead and tighten all the bolts on top and bottom as usual going on diagonals first always recommended and again do not over tighten these are acrylic parts they can crack these bolts are all tightened now the top as recommended go diagonal don't worry if you miss diagonal it's not the end of the world but it's always beneficial to do so and the last two bolts and our robot is mostly assembled this step is completed as shown on the picture 